T.O. Blaze. Hey there, this is T.O. bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. I definitely enjoy messing around with small satellites and putting things in orbit, so I thought I'd make a quick video of a satellite contract on the career mode. In career mode, you get a lot of contracts like this to launch satellites and put them in a specific orbit of a specific celestial body. Obviously, when you start the game off, it's easier contracts, putting things around Kerbin and the Moon and Minmus, and then eventually you get further and further out, bigger satellites with more requirements, more ports and stuff. And uh, usually it's easier to build a um, an ex uh, expendable rocket with just uh, your normal little payload and put it up there. And this time I decided to build something more inspired by, I guess, the, the Starship from SpaceX. I like the idea of reusable rockets and not necessarily useful in KSP. You don't get a awful lot of funds back, but um, it's a lot of fun. So there you see the payloads being released. I need to send it to the, the MUN, I believe. So it's got a, a transfer stage, it's got plenty of fuel. But here you see I get to land my reusable rocket. Like I said, it's Starship inspired mostly by looks, not by size and not by function. Those. Um, I've got wings on the side, which in the case of the Starship, they're more like air brakes, aero brakes. Uh, mine are just basic wings with, with control surfaces on them. And I've got air brakes on the top of the rocket just to make sure it stays right side up. And I've also got my, my landing legs. In this case, again, I was going for simple. So they're mounted on the outside instead of on the inside with like pistons and so forth. But I, uh, here I'm coming in. You, you get more, more uh, money back when you recover a rocket on Kerbin if you do it closer to the Kerbal Space Center. Uh, in this case, I'm just kind of being lazy and just trying to touch it down wherever I can, which is not actually going to be on land. It's going to end up in the ocean. And uh, I've got enough fuel to manually slow down so I don't have any parachutes. And I can't really rely on those air brakes to get me all the way slowed down, so I'll get to fire up the engines in a second and slow down. But uh, I'm also transferring fuel so that I've got more weight on the bottom of the rocket. And there you see him coming in a little too fast 70 50 40 30 meters per second so i gotta get it nice less than 10 meters per second is usually safe and nothing exploded which is great so uh i can come and recover this get a little bit of my funds back there you see twenty thousand funds and uh let me go ahead and finish the mission i've got my simple satellite floating around kerbin need to send it to the moon so setting up a maneuver node get my uh, inclination corrected and it's going to be a pretty big uh, wide orbit so and it's also in the uh, atypical direction usually I like to go clockwise around most of the celestial bodies but in this case the contract is for counterclockwise so I'll make sure I'm coming in from that direction go ahead and circularize my orbit when I get to the moon and what I like about these uh, contracts is you can make the satellites interesting looking you can add lights to them I think in a second I'll change the settings so that you can see the craft blinking with the, uh, without so much lights assisting. I think I've got an ambient light boost turned on. And there, uh, about to, yep, there we go. Got my contract complete. Get some money for career mode. So that about wraps up the video. Hope you liked it. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I uh, hope to see you again soon.